Well, I'm Todd Valines, and by back by training, I'm a cardiologist. I uh, specialize in preventive cardiology and cardi and multimodality cardiac imaging, with a special focus and both research and clinical interest in cardiovascular CT, coronary CT. That is right. Yeah. So this is a, a big change for me. I've been, been a clinical cardiologist and a clinical uh, scientist, researcher, um, very busy with patients, teaching uh, in an academic um, capacity, um, you know, my entire career. So, yeah, I recently started as the chief medical officer uh, at Elucid. It's a huge problem. And, and, you know, it's really been what motivates me is that probably like too many Americans, we all know someone who's had heart disease because it's the number one killer of Americans. It's, the, you know, the number one leading cause of death now uh, worldwide. Um, and despite the facts that we, you know, we have this growing number of preventive medicines, there's just too many Americans who lose their, lose their lives prematurely. And what's frustrated me is that, you know, our, 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 our approaches to preventing heart disease are relatively crude. They're rudimentary, consider, you know, if, if you compare them to how we screen for cancers, for example. Um, so it's a huge problem. Um, and, you know, the, the scary thing is that, um, you know, too many Americans find out they have heart disease because of a sudden life-altering event like a heart attack or a sudden cardiac arrest or uh, a really profound presentation where they before never knew they had the disease. And so my interest is really in better detecting heart disease and preventing it and you know, you know, really focusing on and changing how we as a country uh, address this plague of heart disease through better prevention, better treatments. Well, the, the core mission of Elucid, I mean, is really founded with that mission in mind is that it is, you know, the goal is to prevent heart disease and stroke. Um, and, you know, here at Elucid, we believe that, it, you know, imaging, particularly atherosclerosis imaging, the imaging of coronary artery plaque with CT scanning um, allows the ability to better educate and inform patients about their risk for heart disease, whether they have heart disease at all, and how they should be best treated. And we know that with cardiac coronary CT, I've been doing uh, cardiac CT since the early 2000s. Um, and, you know, the way that's, you know, it's currently practiced is, you know, people get a look at the heart arteries, they tell you whether there's some plaque or not, they try to maybe qualify how much plaque there is um, with maybe a calcium score or just visually looking at it and saying, hey, you got a little bit or you have a lot of plaque. And then they really focused so much on the stenosis or narrowing of the heart arteries. Um, but it's, you know, if you think about it, that's really, um, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a certainly improvement over stress testing, but it's very similar to how people interpret coronary angiograms in the cath lab. It's very just um, semi-quantitative. It is, um, you know, somewhat subjective. Um, and what we've learned is that if you use machine learning and advanced analytic tools uh, using artificial intelligence, that there are so many more things, if you will, or measures of plaque that we simply don't have the ability or time to measure. If you tried to measure it manually, it'd take you all day long, but they in fact are very important. So for example, the volume or amount of plaque you have, very, very, very important. But to quantify that, you know, and to, sit, to literally, you know, do that manually would take you, would take you hours. Um, and so machine learning gives you the ability to do that in a rapid way, in a very accurate way. We know that the type of plaque that you have really matters. Um, and, you know, again, you could look at it and say, well, I think it looks like this, but you really need those advanced analytic tools to truly measure that plaque and its characteristics and to tell you how risky is this plaque? You know, not just how much plaque do you have, but how risky is it? What is your risk of having a heart attack? Because we know that that is prognostically important. Yet, if you get a CT scan at most sites around the country, you don't get that extra layer of analysis that we think is, is really important clinically and is maximizing the, the, the yield of the CAT scan that you had performed. Um, and then when you add to the plaque, the ability to assess physiology, is there um, a, a high probability that there's limiting blood flow due to you know, a, a measure that we use called FFRCT or fractional flow reserve using CT. So you get both the plaque physiology, the plaque risk all in one scan.
Yeah, we're really, really excited about um, an, an upcoming study recently completed. Um, and, you know, Elucid has developed a really new technology. This is different than anything that's on the market. And it's a, a fractional flow reserve derived from, from CT scanning. And people are pretty familiar with this technology um, because there's been technology around now for several years that uses a, a, a term called computational fluid dynamics to calculate the change in pressure across a coronary artery or across a lesion. Um, what Elucid has done is what they've realized is that the health of an artery, the ability of an artery to dilate or respond to stress or respond to a vasodilator can be also highly predicted using machine learning techniques based on the plaque in that artery. How much plaque, but also what does that plaque look like? And so this is a machine learning approach that estimates fractional flow reserve in an entirely new way. And that way had been previously tested in a single center study and shown to be very accurate compared to the gold standard invasive FFR. And we've just completed a five center validation study that showed um, uh, very high accuracy using this approach. And so this is something that you'll be seeing in press um, hopefully soon um, and is the basis of the technology that's been submitted to the Food and Drug Administration for approval and hopefully commercialization and commercial launch very soon. So very excited about that. Um, the other thing that we're excited about is that, um, you know, testing the approach that Elucid has for plaque characterization. And so we now have a prospective three-year outcome study called the Postcard Study, just hot off the press, just recently completed. In fact, we've just done the data analysis. Um, I mean, just uh, a few hours ago, actually. And, and so that's something that, you know, it asked the question, you know, is the elucid approach, the way elucid assesses plaque is it doesn't just tell you how dark or light it is on a Hounsfield unit scale, but it said, let's go and actually train our models to mimic what a pathologist would see under a microscope. And so let's then test this in a trial to see if it's actually predictive of events. And that was the postcard trial. And so that's, um, again, some, uh, you know, soon to be published data that I think will be of interest to listeners and readers about this approach using machine learning to characterize plaque according to ground truth histology. So literally an imaging biopsy, if you will, of your coronaries. Well, I think number one is that, um, you know, preventing heart disease and stroke, we can do better. We have to do better. The current paradigm of you know, um, wait, come in, if, come, if, come in if you have symptoms, let's check your blood pressure, cholesterol. We know that that's reasonably good approach, but it can be significantly improved upon if we actually use CT to detect actual disease, atherosclerosis plaque at an early stage. And if we can detect that plaque, if we can measure that plaque, if we can characterize its risk, I think we can change how people are managed because this is a time in, 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 you know, in 2022 where we have a lot of preventive therapies, not just aspirin and statins. And so I think number one is that we can do better and CT can help us do better. CT, I say plain old CT, but I think you take CT to another level when you use advanced analytics like you know, Lucid technology, number one. Number two is you know, having an alternative FFR CT that gives you the physio physiology, the FFR, CT value, but also gives you a full plaque characterization that's not been previously available in a single company product. And that's what we're excited to deliver in the marketplace.